fun world. Today, we're going to learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. But today, we're going to start with 2x2 two two because it's really simple. And we're going to move on to the Pyramid Cube and the 3x3. Three three. And so on, so forth. Let me tell you the basics of the Rubik's Cube. Let me tell you the sides of the Rubik's Cube. So, this is the left side, this is the right side, this is the back side, and this is the front side. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the front side. But it depends on your perspective, because if you're holding the cube like this, this will be the back side, and this will be the front side. It's on your perspective, okay? This one more time. This is the up layer. This is the down layer. This is the left side. This is the right side. This is the back side. And this is the front side. Now we all know our layers. So let's get into cube notation. There are four basic notations. They all revolve around the sides of the cube. Okay, so there's two other notations that I will tell you, but it will be later in the video because you don't need them for the first few algorithms and steps. Okay, so oh, do you know what an algorithm is? Let me tell you. An algorithm basically means the steps to solve st something. Okay, let's get into it. Let me tell you the basic notations of the Rubik's Cube. So, the first basic notation is R. R is moving the right side clockwise. And now let me get to R prime. R prime is moving the right side counterclockwise. The next notation is L, which is moving the left side clockwise. And after L, it's L prime, which is moving the left side counterclockwise. Now let's move on to U and D. U is moving the upper layer clockwise. And U prime is moving the upper layer counterclockwise. So now, D. D is moving the down layer clockwise. And D prime is moving the down layer counterclockwise. Now we know our basic notations. We need to learn two more new notations, which is F and B. B is moving the back layer which is this side, to the clockwise, like this. Good. And B prime is moving the back layer counterclockwise. Okay, and F is moving the front side clockwise. Prime is moving the front side counterclockwise. Good? If you see two at the end of any notations, it means repeat that notation twice. So for example, U2. U2 is basically moving the up layer twice and clockwise. Right? Or R2 is basically moving the right side clockwise and twice. And then if you say again, again. So, let's move on. So now, it's so exciting. Let's go on to the first step. Meanwhile, I'll try to see if I can beat my own record. Ooh, that's silly. Three, two, one, go. Still got an easy solve. Oh, 
second!